Hello, my name's Pat Norton. I've lived in Kentville for 45 years. And I've recently been on the Canada Infrastructure website, and I noticed that a total of 13 Nova Scotian towns, municipalities, and First Nation reserves have been approved for a grant of somewhere between 5 million and 50 million to implement smart city technology in their town or region, um, all in line with the World Economic Forum goals. And this would include, of course, 15-minute cities and 15-minute towns. And the concept there, if people haven't heard of it, is that we would be expected to live within 50, a 15-minute walk or bike ride of where we live. And um, towns would be uh, divided into districts, and the borders of those districts would be the borders of our life. It's being rolled out in Edmonton at the present moment. The nearest uh, towns and municipalities to us that have been approved, and I guess we'll be putting this in place, are Annapolis County, Annapolis Royal, Digby Municipality, and uh, Digby. So that's a pretty significant um, that's a pretty significant change in the way people do things, and surprisingly, um, very few people seem to know anything about this. So picking up on uh, Mayor Snow's comment staying ahead of the curve. I think this is something that's really, really important to stay ahead of the curve on. And picking up on Jeff Matart's comment, a public hearing is a very useful tool. Um, uh, my strong recommendation is that the town of Kentville inform itself thoroughly about these 15-minute cities, the smart technologies, and, um, and implement some sort of a, a format whereby um, the participation and input of the community can be engaged. And um, to that end, I've brought, um, for your reading pleasure, if I can, can I just leave them on the table there, one each? Um, it's, an, it's a national newspaper and uh, some information on the World Economic Forum's ESG goals. Okay, thank you. Thank you.